Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Research Officer in the Department of Agronomy at G.B. Panth, University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthanagar, Uttarakhand. Now, topic is Fundamentals of Insect, Paste and Disease Management in Organic Farming. As uh, synthetics are not allowed in organic farming, we cannot use any chemical, any herbicide, any insecticide, pesticide, fungicide and these chemicals are totally prohibited. So, the management is different from the conventional farming system. So, when we talk about the paste, the paste include any harmful uh, thing or we can say the agent which cause the harm to the crop and this paste may be insect, may be disease, pathogen, may be bacteria, fungus, even weeds. Weeds are also considered as a paste. So, here uh, in case of weeds, there is lecture already uploaded, fundamentals of weed control in organic farming. You can watch this lecture. It is available in playlist in organic farming, fundamentals of weed management. So here, the major focus is on insect and disease management because their behavior is entirely different from the weed. So weed management strategies or fundamentals are a little different from the insect and disease. Some are common, but some are different. That's why there is separate video for weeds. So here major focus is on insects uh, and disease. So in organic farming, uh, our reliance is on ecological cycles, ecosystem and focus is on the health and ecological balance is maintained. So that's why our practices are aimed to manage the paste as well as to maintain the quality of the environment, to maintain the stability of the ecosystem. So our practices are such that this ecosystem is not disturbed and environmental quality is maintained. So that's why fundamentals are uh, different from conventional farming. So in case of uh, organic farming, the important thing is that prevention is better than cure. This is the uh, fundamental. Because in organic farming, if there is a paste, insect disease, we can uh, spray insecticide or any fungicide. But here, insecticide and fungicides are not allowed. So prevent the uh, buildup of uh, disease and insect. So prevention is very important. So we should prevent the insect to reach uh, their economic threshold level. To reach their economic threshold level. Economic threshold level is the level uh, beyond above they cause the economic loss. If their level or population is below the economic threshold then there is no uh, much loss in crop in terms of money. So prevent the accumulation and their buildup of population and infestation or infection uh, beyond the economic threshold. So that's why this prevention is uh, preventive met uh, methods should be adopted and actually these preventive methods are cultural methods uh, uh, which are aimed to uh, prevent and to uh, prevent the establishment uh, and their accumulation and further increase in population. So these uh, another method practices uh, are which are used to control this insect paste can be categorized in label A, label B and label C. In case of label A, these are the preventive methods and the cultural practices. While in case of B, physical methods or mechanical methods uh, to destroy or to control the insects. Uh, like trapping, uh, trap, light traps are used, pheromone traps uh, are used, soil solarization is used to kill the egg. Uh, pupa etc. Mulching is used to prevent the entry uh, into the soil. Different methods are used. So level A are preventive methods. So we should use first level A. So level A are first line of defense and this includes the cultural methods, time of sowing, type of crop, cropping system, spacing, cover cropping, trap cropping. These also in, uh, included in level A. So this is the first line of defense. So first of all we should use level A. And then physical methods, if level A practices are not sufficient to control the insect, to manage the insect, then level B practices are used, means physical methods. And the level C are the biological methods. These are the biological methods. Uh, we use the botanicals or biopesticides or microbial uh, insecticides. So these are the biological methods. So level B is the second line of defense. These are used when level A are not sufficient 
and label C is the third line of defense. Label C is used when label A and label B practices are not sufficient to control the insect and their population is increasing. So these are three labels. So first line of defense is label A, second line of defense is label B and label C is the third line of defense. Then the, there are different practices in label A, label B and label C means uh, preventive methods that is cultural method, physical method and biological method. So we should use the integrated paste management approach. Uh, we should not rely only one practice. So we should integrate uh, many practices. Actually, there are ecological cycle, ecological balance uh, and uh, nutrient cycling uh, in soil and organic farming uh, depends or relies on this cycle. So that's why we should use different approaches, not a single approach. So some practices of level A, some practices of level B and some practices of level C. So integrated paste management uh, is very good to control the disease and insects. Then diversifying the cultural practices in case of cultural practices means uh, the cropping system uh, identify different type of cropping system which have different uh, type of uh, crops not a single uh, family suppose cereal cereal it belongs to family poesy then in the system like rice wheat system it is based on poesy family cereal then the cereal loving insects and disease build up so diversify the cropping system as well as intercropping it, it make the di more diverse um, biodiversity and reduce the insect disease and the selection of the crop is very important resistant crop adapted to the condition time of sowing is very important was in some condition in late sowing disease build up or insect uh, is more and the control practices as well so different type of uh, control practices and different type of crops different type of uh, cropping system uh, so that a, a, a diversity is maintained and no uh, insect and disease build up and maintain its population. Then higher diversity of soil flora and fauna. Actually in the soil uh, there is a competition uh, between the microorganisms for the resources so they compete with the, each other. So try to maintain diversity of soil uh, microflora and microfauna so that uh, they compete with the, each other and when there is a higher biodiversity means uh, a particular uh, disease or insect cannot build up. So it, it is very essential and it can be maintained by the maintaining the soil physical and chemical properties and by checking the soil erosion by maintaining the organic matter. So there are different practices uh, so that uh, this number of uh, bacteria fungal are maintained and it can be maintained by the uh, use of organics. Then conservation of natural enemies, these, these are very important for the biological control and in nature uh, predators are there, parasites are there, uh, we should conserve, we should maintain their uh, population either through uh, uh, in, in labs or in the release into the field, trichogramma is very good example and the natural enemies may be of uh, microbial, uh, for example bacteria, uh, not, not bacteria is not, uh, some bacteria are natural. Uh, but uh, some insects are uh, there which are predator and uh, parasites. So if we use such type of uh, or maintain the natural enemies, uh, for example ladybird beetle is very good example of natural enemies. If we maintain and conserve and increase the population, definitely insect and disease are controlled. Then uh, make the habitat unsuitable uh, for the paste. Uh, paste require host and environment. So there is a triangle of uh, paste, paste, host and the environment. So th there is a triangle. So paste require host but it in fact or in fact the host in a particular environment. So if we make the environment means habitat unsuitable then this triangles break and their population reduces. How we can make this habitat unsuitable? So for example, limitation of the resources, limited resources for their growth and we can uh, uh, increase the competition through the release of uh, beneficial insects and uh, di diseases to control them, then predators, predators and um, parasitism. So we can use these uh, methods and natural predators are there, for example, uh, ladybird beetle parasites are there. So we can use the different uh, methods to make the habitat uh, which is unsuitable for their 
uh, living for their reproduction or for their multiplication and ultimately their population decreases. So these are the fundamentals. It means we have to first try to prevent methods means level A. So it is very important level A first line of defense then physical and mechanical methods to control their population then level C use of biological agents biopesticides microbial uh, pesticides for example BT gene B BT BT bacillus thuringiensis is very good example and then in case of uh, uh, fungus Bavaria basiana is very important fungus for the insect control similarly in case of virus NPB nuclear poly, uh, polyhydrosis virus this virus can be used to control the insects so we should use different type of agent and integration diversifying the system diversifying the soil microflora conservation of natural enemies unsuitable habitat so these are the uh, fundamentals uh, for the uh, management of insect pest and disease in organic farming thank you very much